Sorry guys. That last video, was I up in your mug? A little bit? Hello? <laughs> I looked at the phone when I, when I went to restart and it was on um, 1, 1. 1.4. So that means I was probably, hello. <laughs> All right, Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Word of Truth channel with J.D. Nija. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit, the one spirit, one baptism, one salvation that shows it shows himself in different modes so that we can understand his nature. Heavenly Father, only begotten Son, and indwelling spirit. Spirit, the breath of life. Heavenly Father, we come before you knowing that you give us life. You give us breath. You take away our breath. You bring life, you bring death, you bring good, you bring evil, you bring A to Z. We have no, we have no will, we have no control. You control everything. And we are hoping and praying that you lead us, guide us, counsel us, love us, redeem us back onto you through your son, Jesus Christ. You made us promises that you got to keep because you're a God that cannot lie. So we know that we, that are in you, cannot be plucked out of your hands. And everyone that the Father gave you, you will redeem through the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, that breath of life. We love you, honor you, we bow before you, we cast our crowns at your feet. Because anything you give us was yours to begin with. It's all yours. And we are all yours. We put you first. Your will be done, not ours. Thank you. Amen. You're welcome. 270 subscribers. Thanks, you guys. I'm honored. This is a good place to be. This is this is good. So, in the last video, we're in Matthew. And, um, I went into the teachings on worry. Um, I confess. I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior, but I'm a warrior. And so that, that was a good teaching for me to remember. <laughs> I've learned over the years not to be such a warrior. I had a lot to I had a lot to worry about having three different children from three different women um, will drive a loving man insane. So I'm glad I'm only partially crazy. And that's why I rely on God to make it make it make sense. Make it make sense, Lord. So, all you family members, I'm, should I read through the names? Terry Estaverni, Mr. Harris, Moto X, Crowswit, Jake, 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 Most High Son. Thank you, brother. You're awesome. City of Trees. Melanie, if you're out there. Yvonne, my neighbor, my sweetheart neighbor. Um... And then the new Heather Atkins, Donna Feigley, Paula Tolkins, Courtney McQuarrie, of course, beautiful Cindy McCromarty, David Hook, Angel in the Flesh, or Sackcloth Prophet, 16V71, Walter, the, the two newest are um, Walter Masak, brother, and 
Imantiri. Imantirni. Welcome. So the teaching on worry. Don't worry about what you're going to wear. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. The Lord will provide for you. Don't worry if you're sick. The worst that could happen is you die and get out of here, which is not any bad thing. Um, and the the biggest the biggest verse of the whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten verses on worry. The the key is thirty three. But seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things, all these things shall be added unto you. Put God forth first and I was trying to explain that to Brother Matt over there who thinks he's King David and thinks he's going to be a superhero after the <laughs> he thinks he's going to be God's number one man after the eclipse. Poor bastard's out of his mind. But um, he doesn't he doesn't trust the Lord to take care of him. He doesn't trust that he's just a man. And the best thing he could do is put God forth. Seek the kingdom. So when it says seek the kingdom, what what verse comes to mind? The first thing that comes to mind for me is when Jesus talks about a man found a, a field of great worth or a pearl of great worth or he found something that was beautiful and that was the, the word of truth, the word of God. He found it and he sold everything else for the kingdom. The kingdom of God is like a pearl of great worth. You sell everything else. The man sold everything. Ooh. The bee is on my window. Want to see him? I'm allergic to bees too. <laughs> if that fucker got in here and stung me, I'd be. I got stung by um, killer bees about 20 years ago. And after that, I became allergic to bees. I'm allergic to bees. I'm allergic to shellfish. I, I'm, <laughs> my friend Snow told me, honey, you're allergic to yourself. I'm like, could be, could be. So seek first the kingdom of God. If you really, for, for, for real, for real, like me, um, I've, I've took a pretty steady march from little six year old, seven year old kid first talking to God to um, teenager who dabbled in church, um, Calvary Christian, dancing around on drugs and alcohol, picking up chicks, to surfing for the for the Calvary Chapel surf team, CCHB Calvary Chapel Huntington Beach. To um, getting married, having kids, um, falling away for a while, but always, <laughs> the Lord didn't let me get very far. But anyhow, um, to where I am now, just full. My cup is full. 
anyway, um, I just stayed on the same page. I asking and receiving. So, um, what's the worst? What's the worst thing a believer can do? And you hear me do it, but I have the right to do it to a certain extent because I'm pretty humble about trusting that I don't know my God like like I could or I should. I know that I don't know. I, I'm smart enough to know I'm dumb. The worst thing you can do is think you know something and start talking before your turn, talking out of turn. And that's what we see out here. A lot of a lot of people talking out of turn. Tony Williams has no business teaching the Bible and talking about God the way he does because he doesn't have enough knowledge. And then there's people like Matthias that have a lot of knowledge, but he's all puffed up. Thinks he's King David. He's fucking insane. He was one of my mentors. And I trusted him, but I can't trust him now because he doesn't understand that I'm at least his equal. At least. He's not over me. I know, I know shit. He, he's still saying Book of Revelations. There's no S on it, Matt. It's Revelation. There's only one revelation of Jesus Christ, and it's at the back of this book. Basically the whole book, but... Um, the worst thing you can do is think you know something when you don't. So this is um, asking and receiving. Uh, Matthew 7. 7-7. Seven, seven. The number of completion. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Why do I pray every morning that we get wisdom, understanding, knowledge? Because that's what we need. That's, that, that's what I want. I don't know if that's what you want. That's how you get going. That's how you start. That's The Lord will give you that stuff if you really want it. So... I didn't start speaking until about 15 years ago. I finally got up in front of the church and I felt studied enough to say something. And what I talked about was the wide and narrow gate. And that's what I was going to talk about a little bit today. Maybe when we get through this asking and receiving, I'll go back there. We're talking about, I was going to talk about the laborers. The fields are white. The fields are white and ripe to be harvested, but the laborers are few. What's, what's that saying? That means people have not asked correctly. They haven't received correctly. You can't just start thinking that if you went to church most of your life, that you got it. Because what you learn in church is problematic at best. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks receives. And he that seeks finds. And to him that knocks it shall be opened. So when it's saying you're seeking, you're knocking, you're asking... What's the problem with some of these people? They're not asking for the truth. They're asking for something that fits their personal bias. What they think, what they want to believe, what, what, fits, what fits their little scared little heart. Oh, I, I, want, I want to know, Lord. And they already got it in their mind what they want to hear. If you want to hear... That you're going to get raptured out of here because you're such a coward. 
and you don't want to die and you're afraid to um, admit that he's in control, you're not in control. These people that say, rapture watch, right around the corner, we're on high alert for rapture watch. That's devil, people. That's fucking hardcore devil. That's that's thinking you know something you have no fucking idea about. Am I worried? I get left behind. You bear, you're not going to want to get left behind. Why not? Can you imagine the, <laughs> the chance to speak the word if everyone disappears and everyone goes, where'd everyone go? I guess I was wrong. Those people did get raptured. Those were the cowards. They, they had to get out of here. God, God had to get them out of here or they weren't going to make it. But you, you're going to be risen up because you're going to get to die for him right here. He's going to test you to the end. You're going to get a higher spot. You didn't have to get rescued. You, you swam to shore. The Lord fucking put a motorboat on you and you fucking... You made it, you fucking, your faith made, made you get to shore. You understand what I'm saying? He wants to see you love him. He wants to know you aren't ditching out. Just like a husband, just like a wife. What's a, what's a woman want? What's a man want? We want someone who's going to fucking stay by our side. No matter how bad we fuck up. We'll get through this, honey. Or what man is there of you whom if his son asks bread, he will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you, he's talking to the Pharisees, if you, wicked fuckers, if you being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father give, which is in heaven, who gives good things to them that ask him? This is red letter. This is Jesus. What's he trying to tell us? Your heavenly father. If you need something, he's going to give it to you. What have I learned? Why, why, why did I become one of the best Bible teachers out there? Because I know I don't know. I'm willing to listen and go, well, what's that mean? I don't care if you call me dumb. I'm not dumb. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I tell you what, I know how to talk to my God. It's evident. It's obvious. I know what he's saying. I know what he's talking about. I am a dad. I've given the good things to my children. My son told me on my birthday last year, he goes, Dad, You're the best because you didn't fucking compromise. You didn't let me get away with shit. You held me accountable. And you gave me all the love. You understand? I care. Your Heavenly Father cares about you. Do you know that? You don't need the hard pot so out of here. He's going he's gonna to take care of you. Um, therefore, all things whatsoever you would that men should do to you, do you even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. In other words, if you want them to be loving to you, be, be loving to them. And see, I'm, I'm trying to love Tony. I'm trying to love Matthias. I tried to love black Hebrew Israelites. It doesn't look like it because I'm calling them wicked fucking niggas, but... That's who they are. They're wicked fucking niggas. They think just because I'm not black that I don't, that I'm not Israel. I'm a, I'm a motherfucker. I'm designed this way. You think he would have, you think, <laughs> you think it would have worked for me if I would have been actual 
Negro looking guy? If I were to look like the rest of my tribe? I'm a setup. I'm a double agent. It's like, you don't, you, you guys don't see me? Really? I know most high son gets it. I know Ahmad Gabar gets it. These are, those are Negro black men, whatever you call it, call us. <laughs> Just because I look this way doesn't mean I don't, I'm not Israel. So anyway, therefore all things whatsoever you would men do to you, do unto them. For this is how the law and the prophets, the, man, we should get that. This is the law and the prophets. 12 B we went into Galatians should we go back there or should we go to Matthew 22 40 we're, in, we're going to be in Matthew anyway so let's go to Matthew 22 40 it reads um, Jesus said unto him he said, Master, which is the great, <laughs> again, again, I hear these guys say that again, again, this is what I say again. One of the apostles asked him, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said unto them, this is Matthew 22, 37, Matthew 22, verse 37, Jesus said unto him, Red letter, the blood is speaking. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Basically, that's all the same Hebrew word, lub, leb, L-E-B, leb. I, thought, I always thought it was lob. Some people pronounce it lob. I don't, L-E-B, lub, lub, leb. It's your mind, it's your heart. Your mind and your heart are the same thing. Where your heart goes, your mind follows. Where your mind goes, your heart follows. And your soul is attached, so that's all in your body. Anyhow, verse 38, this is the first and great commandment. What's the first one? Love your God with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul. Just like we were just talking about, right? My message is follow. It's not me that's doing it, it's the Lord. Why is he bringing this up? Because it's the same thing that it said that the guy prophesied over me, um, Bill James, when I was in the Baptist church. He was a prophet. He said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be given unto you, Jeff Deloach. He told me that, and probably, shit, that's 15 years ago at least, 2008. Um, so what's the first commandment? Love God. And the second is like onto it. And the second commandment, everything rests on this. That's why I, I don't, I don't do the law and I don't do prophecy like like everyone else does it's not i'm not going to tell you what to do and when i prophesy i'm only going to tell you the truth matt i'll see you on the ninth brother and i'll be laughing in your fucking gorilla face you're not going anywhere you're not charging up you're dying dude you're not no one's going anywhere Till you die. We're all in these chains of darkness. We're all in these chains of darkness. We are all as grass. We spring up and we fall down and then we then season changes and he sends us back down here and we spring up again. And then we live our life and then we die again. The grass dies, the grass grows. The grass dies, the grass grows. That's us. We're like grass. The second is likened unto it. 
thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. When you hear me throwing hateful language at these guys, calling them nitwits and dumb fucks and every nasty word I can think of, <laughs> it's not because I hate them. It's because I love them so much and I'm so angry, like an angry daddy. I'm angry at them. You know what my son told me on the same note when he said, you didn't let me get away with shit. He, he told me, he goes, <laughs> I used to tell him when he was a kid, when he'd fuck up, I'd ask him, are you on glue? Have you been, are you sniffing glue? Are you on glue? He, he told me that. He goes, Dad, do you remember you used to tell me, are you on glue? That's my, that's my way of saying, what are you, what the fuck are you thinking? Are you on glue? Do you want to, do you want to believe in Harpazzo? Do you think there's three different gods? There's a Trinity. Do you think Joseph is the father of Jesus? Do you think we're actually spinning through space on a wet ball rocket? Do you think there's outer space? Do you think we went to the moon? Do you think you came from monkeys? Are you on glue? That's all I'm saying to these guys. Are you guys fucking on glue? I'm not, I don't, I, I have a hard time hating. You have to do something really wicked to me. These guys aren't doing anything wicked to me. I don't care if Matt calls me. He could call me fucking whatever he wants. I can't think of anything that would hurt my feelings. Meth head. That kind of hurts a little bit. I would. I. I had my fun, but I'm still. <laughs> I still got him beat. What does that say about him? <laughs> Uh, he tried to tell me I was ugly in some way. And it's like, dude, women love me. Dude, women love me. Beautiful women. I've had sex with more women than just about... I have a high body count. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Not nothing to be proud of, but I never had any trouble. When I was on my game, I was... I'm fucking 63 years old. Women are not high on my list right now. <laughs> I'd love to have someone to love, but... I would like... I mean, women are attracted to me still. I don't... Anyhow, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So when we're talking about the law and the prophets, and we're talking about the Bible, what did Jesus say? The guy asked him, what, what is this book all about? What are, Master, what is the great commandments of the law? What I've told you guys over and over again that song Ziggy Marley, love is the only law. That's the only law. Love your God and love your neighbor. Love your God and love your neighbor. Love your God. Say it. Repeat after me. Love your God. Love your neighbor. Love your God. Love your neighbor. Love your God. Love your neighbor. Love your God and 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 love your neighbor. Yo. Yo. 